ever get the feeling there's some stuff you really want to know, but at the same time you really don't? This is one of those times. Brunswick County 911, chat is your emergency. <laughs> We have somebody shark, a shark attack. A shark attack yesterday in shallow waters on a crowded beach in North Carolina. There's a girl whose hands been bitten off by a shark. Are any of the fingers completely amputated? It looks like her entire hand is gone. Then on that same stretch of beach. Yes, ma'am. His arm is gone. Another attack barely an hour later. Blood in the water, uh, coming over with the whitewash. Uh, kid was in shock. He was still coherent. Um, lost, uh, took it clean off. You saw that. But I saw what was left of what he had. And just a few days earlier, further down that same coast, another. Authorities in North Carolina say be careful out there, but emphasize such attacks are rare and their beaches are safe. Would you gentlemen swim in the water today? I'm sorry? Would you gentlemen <laughs> swim in the water today? Would I swim in the water? I would swim in the water today. Still, forgive Americans for suddenly thinking this. Remember the premise of Jaws? Shark attacks on a beach where shark attacks were rare. And this year in America, it's been a shark-filled spring. Check the dark spot just below the kite surfer off the coast of L.A. in April. Here's a close-up. And this is also off L.A. just last month. Those dark spots are all great whites. Then there's Florida's Matthew Zachariah, who last month while surfing, yep, stepped on a shark. Jumped up and bit me. Could have been really bad. I got really lucky. I like whipped my leg out just in time or it would have just crunched it. The two in North Carolina, 12 and 16 years old, weren't so lucky, but they survived. In the waters nearby, two sharks have since been spotted drifting along. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.